All right, so I was asked to do a quick tutorial on how I use uh, the four different apps from Rogue Amoeba that I have recommended. So let's run through them real quick. Uh, the first one is called Loopback Audio. And essentially what Loopback Audio allows me to do is to create one audio input that combines my microphone. And I run my microphone through the H6, so that's what that's the, this microphone device and then any other program on my computer. So I'm gonna tell you about a program here in just a second called Farajo, and let me show it to you real quick. So Farajo is a soundboard program, so I can play you know, different audio drops. If you listen to the showrunner, you'll recognize the prize wheel audio drop, which you can hear right there. So I'll tell you about that one in a minute. Uh, but what Loopback allows me to do is to combine Farajo which, with my H6, so now when I'm choosing an audio input for a recording, these act as one. So the sound clips that I play in Farajo will come through just like it's me talking on my microphone. And the way that that is used is, let me open up here in uh, Zoom. Okay, so this is make it weird now that you can see me talking. But when I want to go and choose my microphone, I will choose the microphone called Loopback Audio. Right, so I could go in and choose my H6 individually. If I did this, it would just broadcast what I'm saying. When I do loopback audio now, it will broadcast what I'm saying along with any sound clips that I play here, like the applause comes over right there. Um, again, get to Farajo in a minute, but that's what loopback audio does. Let me get this off of here. So I could go in here and I could add other programs too. You know, say that I wanted to add a web browser, I could add Safari to it. Or if I wanted to add, you know, iTunes, I would add that there and then it would all just pipe through as one audio input device. Okay, so that's loopback audio. So while I've got Farajo up, let me just talk about Farajo. So es essentially, I can create a whole bunch of different soundboards that I can use for different shows for different situations. So you can see this is the soundboard that I use here for the showrunner. I've got the music uh, that I use for ads, and I've got it at a particular level, and I've tested this. So like, for instance, this, this song, it's called Gypsy in Istanbul. You know, I know I'm going to be talking over this. So I've set the volume to be at 30% so that I can talk at a normal rate and this music doesn't, you know, bowl me over. Um, obviously for, you know, for other music, you just got to test it. This song is a little bit uh, um, different. It's a little bit higher. So I've got that at 25%. And I just tested this out. But essentially for any different sound bite that you have, like for the assembly call, I have a really detailed soundboard. Where these are, this is all the music that we use. And I kind of switch this up episode to episode based on which sound clips I might want to use. And we do this to kind of be funny. I pull audio drops out of the show. Um, and so I, I can track them all here. And so essentially I'll use AC1 as like my main board. And then I've just got all these other ones that I can pick and choose from, from past shows, just kind of organized in different ways here. And I can drag them and drop them, copy and paste them, that kind of thing. So, and this is really why I wanted to use loopback audio so that I could combine it with my soundboard. So now as I'm hosting a show, anytime I want to, I can play a sound clip too. Like the fail horn right there. Uh, and it just, it's added more color. Uh, it's added more fun. Um, and I think just made it more interesting, our live broadcast um, and, you know, being able to use Farajo. So that's why I use Farajo. Now, in conjunction with those, I also use a program called Audio Hijack. And let me pull Audio Hijack in here. So Audio Hijack allows me to record any audio from my computer. And so I have several different ones set up depending on what I'm doing. The one that I use most often is my Zoom session. So when I activate this, what happens is it records from two sources. So it records from loopback audio, which you'll recognize from the input that we just talked about. So it records my local audio, and then it also combines the audio from Zoom. So like if I had one of my guests or one of my co-hosts on here with me talking, and I hit record on this right here, sometimes it makes a really weird sound, which you may have just heard there. Um, it's just three seconds and then it passes. And I think that only happens when I have Zoom open with it. Anyway, just kind of annoying. But you'll see that I'm, you can, I, you can see where I'm talking here. And so if there was someone on the Zoom line with me talking, I would, you would see their little orange line light up here. That would route through the headphones so that I could hear them. And then it all comes in as one file. So when I hit stop, when I want to go find this, I click on recordings and it'll be the most recent recording right here. 
So I can click on it and I can listen to it if I want to you know, just do a quick listen. Or I can go to Actions, Reveal and Finder, and then I will find it, uh, find where it is right here, and then I can do uh, whatever I need to do with it. So that's Audio Hijack. And I use this as my main recording while Zoom is going on because I get the best audio of myself locally and of the Farajo sound bites. It's not going up through Zoom, having to be compressed, and then pulling it. So Zoom is my backup because Zoom will record automatically in the background. And I have had to use the Zoom backup. In fact, on the most recent episode of The Showrunner, I had to do that because I forgot to start the audio hijack recording. So it's nice to have that backup. But I always want the audio hijack recording going because it gives me the best local sound. Uh, And then finally, the fourth one that I talked about is called Fission. So uh, Fission, let me just open up a sound clip here um, real quick. So here's just, uh, this is an ad that we're doing for the assembly call. So when I open up Fission, it just allows for really, really quick editing of any kind of sound clip. So I can listen to this. Okay, so let's say that I just wanted to get that clip right there, right? So what I would do is I could go in here and I can save as, because I don't want to save over the original file. So let's just call this test file, all right? And then I can use this uh, little circle here that I dragged to make it a little bit bigger. And if I want to split it, so let's say that I want to split it right here, I can split it, then I just click on this to delete it. I can go back to the beginning and this little bit of you know dead time right here, I can split that um, and get rid of that. Sometimes you have to be careful doing that because it actually cuts off some of the beginning. But there we go. So now I've cut that little piece of audio. Now I can save it real quick as an MP3 and bada boom. And this is how I you know, do uh, or how I cut all these different audio drops. It just makes it really simple. So I'm not editing my full podcast in here. Um, I mean, I, I could if I had all of my intro and outro music played live, but I still use a GarageBand template for that. But for editing individual files, you know, to cut down stuff at the beginning or end before you drag it in or, you know, to just make a few final cuts to a final file or to an audio drop, it makes it so easy. And you can go in here um, and you can add the different tags you want. You can drop in drop in your artwork. Um, and there may be other things in here too that, you know, that I don't um, use that often. Like for instance, if I wanted to fade this in, I could just drag that and I can add a quick fade in. Um, I can make the, the volume go up and down. So it's got several different options. It just makes it so, so simple. So again, uh, the four different apps are Fission for the editing, uh, Farajo for the soundboard, and Audio Hijack for the recording, and Loopback Audio um, to allow me to combine different apps and inputs into one. And that is a very brief, quick overview of how I use these apps from Rogue Amiga, Amoeba. Thank you for watching.